ladies and gentlemen, this is think poetry. That's all it is. It's creative poetry. But I'd like to welcome you to Real Life Cinema. R-E-E-L and R-E-A-L. It's a real life movie, ladies and gentlemen. And you are the star of it. And you don't even know it. I just found out that I'm the star of it for 50 years. I haven't been compensated or nothing. But I'm going to tell you, man, stories are meant to be shared, people. Not told. You want to hear the truth? Or you want to be entertained? Now, I promise. Since I was a little kid, I always wanted to be the man. I mean, it's where I'm from, man. I'm from Orchard Park. I'm from Boston. You know what I'm saying? Where I mean, they made a movie about my projects, man. It's too deep. And I promise people I'm not bragging. But that project was deep. Every day. So since I was a kid, I always wanted to be the man, even though I never met his third cousin-in-law. That divorced his real cousin of the man. But to me, I was him. The dude, the man that I never met. And I bet one of you that's listening, you probably thought you would meet him too. Bill, come on, people, sip the drinks. Now, I was 15, man, and I started off selling boy. Heroin. Listen to the names. Elegance and sweet appetite. But my main man that I worked under, he didn't do math right. So I left outright to reach new own high near exclamation point period and I promise 400 a night three to four times a week I'm 15 and I saved it in shoe boxes you understand Benjamin times a hundred and clips wrapped bought brand new sneakers well, yeah, damn near really every day of the week I lied to every freak and my constant brand new sneaks helped me sneak the true lies of the street because my shoes, people, were always crispy. Because I used to have this motto, it don't matter how you dress as long as your feet are fresh. Hustlers, they always watch your feet, right? Because it's how you move your feet, right? Crispy. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I play basketball. <laughs> you know, with all the hustlers parlay and play all the time, y'all, and my mother, I promise, since we were all little, my mother, she paced us up and down the whole entire East Coast gravel. And we traveled people all the time. And with that famous proverb, again, what is that proverb meant? Like mother, like son. <laughs> so when I could travel, whoop, I gravel. The gravel. Everywhere I travel. But listen. Always on my level, higher than most, lesser than a lot. And my level has always been under the devil. Because if I couldn't dig it, you know what I mean, with my shovel, then that gravel was too hard for me to shovel, so I traveled to other gravels. Longitude and lateral, you know, forwards and backwards. But I promise, that awkward that I traveled, It kept my comfort full of comfort all the time. And when I performed this train of thought, it was too late. Because that's when I got my crown caboose and my compartments caught by not leaving greedy alone, folks. I mean, it cost me cinco años of my L-I-F-I-E. People, please think, man. But because of my comfort full train of thought, I came out with some knot, not just no knot. And with that some knot, I rekindled the thought I always thought was best for me, Lamont. Comfort full. And leave greedy ass Richie alone, man. So I just opportunity scope. I mean, after all, I am from Orchard Park. I mean, it's on my right arm. And I stayed OT. That's anybody who know me. And I'm from OP, so I opted to stay adopted, that's what I adopted, OT, and I saved a small piece of every knot that I made in the streets, and I followed this pattern everywhere I showed and came up, this is real stuff, I just pumped it up, to relieve some strain, I put on some brains, part self, 
But I promise, man, them strains that I put on some brains and all terrains, I graveled and traveled. I only had one goal on my mind, people, to be comfortful. Peace Creation Bay. Proverbs. 119. Proverbs. 1925. Read. Be on your guard against all type of greed. Especially lusting others' wealth or stealing from one because your lack of wealth. People, and they ain't got nothing to do with money. That means righteousness. Don't be crave. <laughs> Ain't that what he said? Don't be crave. That's wicked and unpredictable. Because that means you probably were robbed from your family. You know what I'm saying? Lie your swoom teeth. That's what my Trinity people used to say down in Brooklyn. If you a liar, you a thief. Wow. So there is... Um, Wow. We gotta think, people. I'm sorry. That's why I write my poetry, man. I wanna cleanse all the dirt that's inside me. Why do you exist? Everything I did, I promise. I thought I did the right thing. I got eight kids. Where your murder in the beat? All of them, except in my bed, in my mother's bed, in my sister's bed, in my brother's beds, all of them. So, judge me how you want. Whew, this is real stuff. Peace Creation Bay. Think poetry, that's all it is, people. Just think poetry. That's all it is, man. Think poetry. God all the time, y'all. Peace creation, man.